But when I'm on the ice, I don't really worry about things. When I'm on the ice, it's my time to enjoy it. I was diagnosed with ADHD and ASD, and I guess a part of my difficulties is with change. And having to come here for eight years every Sunday, and for to Sunday to stop would be difficult for me. It's like a home away from home. It's uh, a place to make new friends, meet new people. It's a place to learn new skills. It's, it's just fantastic in every single way possible. Well, when I'm on the ice, I feel like nothing can hold me back or stop me. And I, I feel so excited and, and happy. And, and, it's just like a, and it's just a magical feeling. Fife uh, are unique. There is no other group uh, of special needs ice skating in the world that offers figure skating, tuition, synchronised skating and ice hockey. And we've grown from half a dozen people up to 120 members, siblings and volunteers every Sunday on the ice. Asha has what is described as a severe learning disability. She doesn't have a syndrome as such, but she has an overall global severe learning disability. When she was born, the doctors said, prepare yourself for the worst. She may not walk, she may not talk. But I never in a million years imagined that she would actually be able to put on ice skates and then skate. So we have a lot of children with autism syndrome, with Asperger's syndrome, Down syndrome, uh, children who are deaf, children with cerebral palsy. Antonia is um, born with Down syndrome oh and she has impaired vision <laughs> and that's fixed at a metre. So there's not very many sports that she can actually achieve and do. So to be able to ice skate <laughs> is a fantastic achievement. Yeah. <laughs> Abby has ADHD and autism spectrum disorder and sensory processing problems and we couldn't go anywhere because there was just too much judgment, comments. Um, if Abby went into an overload, we'd have people making really nasty remarks. So we stopped going out and then we found Spice, came one Sunday, and we come every week. Um, she absolutely loves it, it gives her so much. We have a community and a support, other parents help each other, there's no, no judgments, no comments, um, and the only photos I have of her smiling, a true smiler here. I think we were heading down the route to exclusion at school, and now we're back. Spice gives that whole support network to so, so many families. Um, with, with very difficult life situations and you know, some children with very challenging behaviours. So Spice doesn't turn anyone away. Everyone is welcome at Spice and encouraged and everyone's encouraged to make progress at their own speed as, as they want to. And it, it really is a lifeline to all of us. It's kind of like a bigger family, but, but at the same time, we always work together. We, we use a lot of good communication skills and mostly we just really enjoy it. I didn't like interacting with other people because I felt like quite nervous because I have Asperger's but Spice like helped me build my confidence and helped me talk to other people because when I first started I wouldn't even be able to have this conversation like now. I was diagnosed with DCD. Um, I can't remember what it stands for but it means I'm quite clumsy and I knock. If I'm walking, I won't notice that I'm about to knock something over or something. But the, I, being on ice really helps because there isn't much to knock over. You can crash into a barrier, but it doesn't really hurt. In the last 12 months, we won the Sports and Recreational Alliance Club of the Year Award, which was presented by HRH, the Earl of Wessex. Uh, we were um, nominated for the Daily Mirror Pride of Sport Awards. Uh, our synchronised skating team, Absolutely Spice, uh, won an award at the British Championships for the most entertaining routine. These children and young adults are unable to access mainstream sport, so this gives them somewhere to come 52 weeks a year where they can express themselves, where they can be with their friends, where they can have some physical activity and uh, develop their self-esteem as well. I have Asperger's in dyspraxia and often I used to feel uh, quite alone 
and that would make me a bit upset because not many people understood me that well, at least my condition to do with socialising. And when I was here, I just felt there was a better sense of understanding and that helped me feel more secure in turn. Our young children and adults totally rely uh, on Spice every Sunday morning. And to simply say, we're not going to be here anymore, will leave a massive hole in their lives. My own son, Tommy, sits at home six days a week uh, living for Spice. If Spice isn't there for him on a Sunday, uh, I think it will really destroy him. It's, it's the highlight of my life because it's the only thing that I have, ever do. So, so, so it's my only form of, of exercise and the only thing that makes my life worth living. If this rink closed, even temporarily, this would be quite disruptive. I think I've permanently gained, gained more internal confidence from being amongst people here with the same sense of understanding, but that might be a bit damaged by not being amongst them for so long. Yeah, I hope it doesn't close.